Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and if you haven't heard yet, which I'm sure you have, that Bungie is joining Sony. Sony bought Bungie, but didn't buy Bungie. It's, I don't know, it's been, as you can see, 21 hours. I kind of waited to make this video just because I wanted to see what, you know, other people were saying. I wanted to see if there was more information coming out, you know, from industry insiders or people from Bungie or Sony, whatever. But there's been a lot of um, knee-jerk reactions to this. And I think that there should be. I, I feel like it's a very weird thing because they used the word like acquisition, things like that. Sony basically, to me, invested almost $4 billion into Bungie and it doesn't seem like they're getting anything out of it off rip. But, of course, if something sounds too good to be true, that means it's most likely too good to be true. So we're going to speculate a little bit about what's going to happen, what this actually means for Bungie, why Sony did it, blah, 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 blah. This didn't happen overnight. Apparently, they said that it was five months in the making. I don't know how much I believe that. You know, Microsoft has been on a buying spree, and I feel like this is Sony's, like, I guess, counter attack but even so if it was five months in the making it is what it is but like i said you know sony basically pumped in almost four billion dollars to basically jump start the next i guess you know the, the the future of bungie pretty much and what destiny and the other ips you know we're going to be 10 years down the road probably gets cut into way sooner like five years or less now obviously i don't think this is going to change things like the witch queen um, maybe Lightfall will be a little bit bigger, or the final shape and stuff like that. Like, I feel like those will be where you see a lot of changes, but, um, in-game, I really don't know what this means for, like, Matter, their other IPs that they have working on in the studio. But what it does, I think, Fast Track, is the Destiny shows, movies that they want to make, since Sony has so many um properties under that kind of thing you have like sony pictures and things like that so i think that that's where sony is going to get the kickback from is they have like exclusivity rights i don't know if they plan on having their own you know streaming platform or what it is but sony is going to make money back whether it's like merchandising or just you know whatever it is maybe they get a cut of everything you know, that Bungie makes if they get like 10%, you know, off of every game sale or something. Imagine if you buy Destiny on your Xbox and you're technically paying Sony. That would be, what, what a timeline we live in. But right there, Bungie begins our journey to become a global multimedia entertainment company. Comics, anime, movies, shows, it's all coming. And it's probably going to come a lot faster now. Throughout the article, they talk about how they, you know, retain our independence and things like that. And I believe that is somewhat true. Sony says that they can publish, you know, their stuff. They won't be telling them how to make the games or, you know, what games to make and things like that. So I do believe that. I think that Bungie has absolutely earned, not the respect, but like, I don't know. It, it's maybe respect is the right word to basically do what they want to do and not have people breathe over them it doesn't feel like you know how ea breathes down the neck of dice or whatever I, I don't think that it's like that i think bungie has absolutely turned itself into this giant corporation thing and uh i i think that they are probably respected around the um the industry now is there gonna be exclusivity for playstation stuff they say no not off rip i don't know i i I honestly don't know if they can for Destiny just because of the cross-platform stuff. I feel like that would be super weird. And I feel like Bungie is very much in the industry of making sure everybody feels equal. So I don't really see that happening. Maybe with the uh, future IPs there will be, you know, some exclusivity stuff. But again, who knows, you know, will Matter be only on PlayStation? I don't know. I, I, I don't think so. I think, again... If Sony's getting kit back from, you know, sales and stuff, why wouldn't you have it on Xbox as well? Because then you're just making money off of that. But that's just my opinion on those things. Will we see a Destiny 3? I don't... Not within, like, the immediate future. I think, like, the earliest that we would see a Destiny 3 is, like, 2025, 6, 7... 
at the earliest, but I think that there's probably going to be spinoff Destiny games in some capacity. Now, whether that's like a mobile trading card game, I don't know. Again, I don't feel like players will feel any changes within the world. Hopefully there's like, they use some of that money to like upgrade the, the server networking structure or something. That would be very nice. Maybe we'll get more PvP maps instead of waiting 900 days. That would also be nice. But who knows? Let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about this, if you're excited. You know, Bungie has been, you know, under Microsoft and then under Activision, and they've worked with Sony on exclusivity stuff, and now they're part of Sony Interactive. I don't know. It's crazy out here. If you all enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like down below. If you want to see more Destiny content, let me know, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace!